Mats Madu. We are the children, we are the children, the children of God. Tam Kam Kam. We change our world, we have what it takes to do it smart and make it smart. Welcome to our world, Smart Do. Welcome to Azates for today's English lesson. I hope you are doing fine wherever you are. Now today, we are going to look at uh, the use of reflexive pronouns. Now it's the first, not the first time we are coming across uh, the word pronouns. We have learned it several times uh, and I'm sure in the course of your learning, uh, you still remember the meaning of the word uh, pronoun. So we can, uh, if we can have one of you trying to remind us the meaning of the word pronoun or what is a pronoun when it comes to English. Yes, can you try? Can you try? Aha, uh -huh. very good, very good. That's a good attempt. Another people, another people can try to give us uh, either a different meaning or support the same. Yes, try. Aha, uh -huh. very good. So all of you have given the correct uh, meaning of the word pronoun. So a pronoun is a word is a a word that is used to replace replace a noun a noun in a sentence it is used to replace a noun in a sentence instead of keeping repeating that noun that you are talking about in a sentence we use a pronoun now, there are different types of pronouns that you have, and today we are going to specifically look at a reflexive, reflexive, reflexive pronouns, the reflexive pronouns. Now, just as the word says itself, it is very close to the science word that you, mean, you, you always uh, write, uh, that is the word reflect. You have learned about uh, reflection of light in science. So the same case here, reflexive, reflect. Now reflect means to bounce back. Bounce back. Bounce back. Now reflexive is almost similar to that. Whereby it means to refer, to refer back to an earlier, to an earlier mentioned mentioned noun so reflexive pronouns are used to refer back they used to refer back to an earlier mentioned pronoun or noun in a sentence now reflexive pronouns are written as this in singular in singular they take the form the suffix s e l f self that is in singular. In plural, in plural, they take uh, the suffix uh, S E L V E S. Notice how the F in our English in our uh, singular changes to V E S in uh, plural. So that rule remains there. We have learned so many words of singular plural, changing them from uh, F to V E S. The first reflexive pronoun. The first person, the first pronoun we have is my, myself, referring to my, myself. The plural of this reflexive pronoun will be our, our selves, our selves, myself, ourselves. Number two, we have the, refre uh, the reflexive pronoun, pronouns himself. Herself, herself, and it self. It self. Now, these three reflexive pronouns, when it comes to writing them in plural, they usually have one plural. That is uh, them, themselves. Themself. So, himself, themselves. Herself, themselves itself themselves and finally we have the that reflexive pronoun that is uh, yourself that is yourself yourself changes to you are 
selves. You are selves. Notice LB. Note. There isn't a word like a they are selves. This is a wrong word in English. There isn't a reflexive pronoun such as they are selves because what will be the singular of it? It will be none of these words. So one has to be very careful when you are writing the plurals, especially when it comes to themselves. Some of us tend to confuse it with they are selves. Now to see how these uh, reflexive pronouns are used, it's better we have one or two examples that will guide us and we will be able to further understand how they are used in a sentence. For example, sentence number one, she did, she did the work herself, herself. So therefore, this reflexive pronoun herself is referring to the pronoun she is referring to the pronoun she number b or <clears throat> is another sentence that we can have the cat the cat killed the rat the rat itself the cat killed the rat itself so therefore itself is referring to the cat what the cat did the cat killed the rat itself so therefore we can see that the reflexive pronouns are used to refer either to a noun or a pronoun that has been used in a sentence now there is one other form of the use of the reflexive pronouns one other form of the use of the reflexive pronouns. That is, they are used to emphasize. They are used to emphasize. They are used to emphasize. Now, how do you use the reflexive pronouns to emphasize in a sentence? They, when you use a reflexive pronoun, immediately after, immediately Use it immediately after a noun or pronoun. When it comes immediately after a noun or a pronoun, it is used to emphasize. For example, in a sentence. Example. In a sentence. I, comma, myself did the work. I myself did the work. So here you are emphasizing that it was you. Nobody else did the work for you. It was you. You yourself. I myself did the work. And please note, after the pronoun, the first pronoun, before you write the reflexive pronoun, there must be a comma. There must be this comma. Let's have another a uh, sentence that will guide us in the same John comma himself fetched the fire wood John himself fetched the fire wood so the fetching of the fire wood was done was done by John nobody else assisted him in doing uh, the activity. So therefore, it is important to keep on practicing the use of these reflexive pronouns and I'm sure you'll become good uh, in using them over and over. Otherwise, have a good time. I hope that we shall meet uh, during another lesson. Goodbye.